Contrary to popular belief, your Mac is not bulletproof, but this software can help keep it running smooth. So let's take a look. I've been using Clean My Mac, my goodness, six to seven years, I dare say. I had a 2013 27 inch iMac. I know I had it on that. So when Mac Paul reached out to me and said, hey, do you want an affiliate account and some free software of Clean My Mac 10 to try out? I've already been using this software for years and years. So I think this is a perfect fit. I would love to tell everyone about how the software works. So I even went as so far as to ask them to sponsor this video so I could talk to you about it today because I think it's such a good fit. Yes, they're paying me to talk about their product, but I've been using the product. So it's not like they gave me the software and I have to quick use it and tell you guys what I think. I think the fact that I've already paid for it and I'm using it, in my opinion, is valid enough that I do believe in this product. I am always looking for ways to keep my machine running fast and smooth. I mean, this is a 2015, it has served me well, and it is still doing a great job, but I think without Clean My Mac and the processes that I go through, I probably wouldn't be as happy with this as I am right now. It is a 2015, 27 inch, four gigahertz, quad core Intel i7. I have upgraded it to 32 gigs of RAM, but it does only have 500 gigs of SSD storage. So when it comes to what I put on there, I have to be careful. I do use a lot of external SSDs to help me do my editing and uh, my servers, which actually help me keep things that I store off of this computer. So I end up using this software on a daily basis to make sure that it is running as fast as it can. Hey guys, Mike from the future here. Real quick, I forgot to mention at the start of this video, my affiliate link is in the description. If you wanna go ahead and purchase this, there is also a 10% discount before you check out. Enter ETA Prime 10 and you'll get 10% off. All right, don't forget, back to the video. Be sure to stick around towards the end of the video because I got something special for you guys. Uh, a little teaser there. So let's take a look at the software right now. Probably the easiest step here, which is something that will remind you every once in a while that you need to do, is your smart scan. Now that will go through and clean up any unneeded junk, uh, any potential threats, as well as any tasks that need to perform to help keep your uh, system running fast. Now I did recently run this and it went through my system junk, my trash bin, my mail attachments, and as part of the speed section here, it went through my maintenance scripts, cleaned those up, flushed out my DNS cache, and actually freed up some RAM. So you can see here, it got rid of 5.78 gigs of space that was taken up on my computer that I didn't need anymore. So the smart scan is a great way to do a fast cleanup and just make sure that there aren't things that are getting out of hand on your system. The next step that I like to take on my Clean My Mac is the installer. Now you can go through here and you can see all your applications by name or by size, and you can do ascending or descending. You have apps that are currently being unused. Now, again, if it's something they use every once in a while, you not necessarily want to take it off there, but you can go through very easily and see things that you're not using and go, okay, you know what? I need to get rid of that and uninstall it. This is some leftovers. Now, I left this on here so you could see it. These are parts of applications that when you delete the file itself, it may have leftover things that you actually need to go through and get rid of. So while we're in here talking, let me go ahead and get rid of these extra files. Next you have 32-bit, which is something that's going to be ending. Uh, as you can see here with the release of Mojave, marks the end of 32-bit applications. Eventually these are going to be running out, so it does not hurt to get rid of those as well. So the cleanup is complete, and yes, it was only 350 megabytes, but what's nice about this is if you're downloading other updated software, this could impede with what you're trying to do and slow down your newer software that's trying to run. So next we have the stuff that comes from the Apple App Store as well as other applications. And down below that, it actually breaks it down even further by Apple, Microsoft, Adobe, Google, this application itself, MacPaul, as well as any other application that you can go through. Now this also gives you additional information that you're not gonna see when you're looking at the apps folder on your computer itself. So those are the basic functions of Clean My Mac X. 
Now you see here, there's a lot more things on this file that you can go through, but a few that I would like to talk about are ones that actually help me really keep this system running smooth and fast. Because when I'm starting to do a video, I will go online and download pictures and video, and I will, you know, insert those in, and I'll often forget about them. This space lens feature will allow me to go into my Macintosh HD drive, give me an instant overview, and I can quickly decide what it is that I want to clean up or delete off of my system that I don't necessarily need anymore. Now, yes, you can go through your drive itself and open it up, but once you get into here, you start going into your library, and you're like, oh, look at all these folders that I have to go through. Okay, well, then let me go into my my system. No, 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 I don't want to do system. I want to go into my user, and let's go into my files, and downloads and create there are so many things to have to click on do you remember where you've gone where you've backed out into and you start deep diving and you realize wh where does it go where did I go this breaks it all down so easily for you by users users will tell you 89 gigs of files your applications take up 30 gigs of files your system is 17.2 gigs you can go into each of these and break it down where exactly your items are. And this will even find things that I don't see even when I go into my downloads or my movies or my libraries. So this is a great way to really deep dive into your system and delete things that you don't want or need anymore. Now, word of caution, I have deleted some things in here that I did need and have to re-download. So be careful when you're going through it's always good to back up your system before you start going in and doing this, just in case you delete something that you need. The next thing I love is the large and old file section. This will scan your system. As you can see here, it's got me 71.04 gigs of items on here from old items to large files. You can access by date. These items I haven't touched in over a year. So guess what? I should probably delete all of those. So this is a great way to go through pictures that you are currently using or not using, movies that you don't necessarily want anymore or move to an external hard drive. Music, I already have moved to an external hard drive. So some files that I may have on here for videos that I recorded or voiceovers, those will be on there as well. And you can go down to other. So these are things that are extremely helpful in leading you to where you need to find these files that you may not simply find by going to your finder and going to your file because sometimes they're hidden maybe i'm the only one i don't know are there files that you can't find on your system and you think where is all this space going that happens to me a lot comment down below if you agree or don't agree as i mentioned at the beginning of this video macs are not bulletproof you can get viruses although it be few and far between you certainly can get malware this is a malware removal that will allow you to go through and make sure that there's nothing bad on your computer same thing goes with privacy which is so important these days you can see here this will actually go through and remove browsing traces and uh, clear out your cache now one thing i do want to mention that if you are a chrome user a few of these items do have to be done through the browser itself i'm logged in with a google account so this data all gets backed up instantly so if you want to clear that out when it comes to your autofill values your browsing history your passwords you need to go through Chrome to do that. Now, when the folks over at MacPaw reached out to me, as I mentioned earlier, they asked if I wanted a free version of Clean My Mac X to try out. Well, when I told them I've been using this for years and years and it's been helping me already, they were super pumped for me to go out and do a video for them. Now, I did ask them, hey, can I still have the free copy to give away to my audience? And they said, sure, not a problem at all. So to get in on the giveaway, all I need you to do is share this video that we're doing right now over on Twitter with the hashtag CMMX. And then that way you're entered to win and we'll go ahead and pick a winner in a few weeks and we'll send that out to the person. Now, if you're already sold and you want to buy this, there is a link in the description and a discount code that'll give you 10% off of your purchase, whether you do a license or a subscription. I currently do the subscription because I use this all the time. I find it completely worth the money that I put out each year, and it's not really that much. So I want to thank the folks over at MacPaw for reaching out to me and making this video possible by sponsoring it and allowing me to talk about this product, which is absolutely awesome. 
Now that you have your system completely cleaned up, you want to keep it that way. Well, check this out. I got a video right here talking about some external hard drives that will allow you to keep it clean. And in the meantime, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video.